I didn't know Nipsey as well as I knew Jay, but he seemed like a stand-up guy. When I agreed to shoot the video for YG's Tooted and Booted, which Nipsey was featured on, I told the guy at the record company, hey, make sure you bring that kid who looks like Snoop. That's how we met in person. Nipsey was a great dude who seemed focused on both his community and his family. Sadly, the same sucker shit that got Jay also got Nipsey. When Nipsey got killed, people started pointing their fingers at everyone except those suckers. On Twitter or IG, the first thing you would see is the government killed Nipsey. The logic was Nipsey had been working on a documentary about Dr. Sebi, the famed Honduran herbalist who some people felt had been jailed and later killed because of his controversial views on Western medicine. Dr. Sebi's teachings were a threat to the pharmaceutical industry, so Nipsey had to be killed before he could help spread them to the world. To hear other people tell it, Nipsey was a threat to the government because he was teaching the hood about financial empowerment and social justice. If too many poor young people became enlightened because of Nipsey's work, it would threaten the status quo in Los Angeles. So he had to go for that. 